to position. Look at my uh, left hand. Ready? Morote senage. Yeah, this is morote senage. So we worked on ippon senage. Do you remember? Before, ippon senage. So here and yes. And then throw from the standing position. Ippon senage and morote senage look similar, but totally different technique. So here, for the real, you can drop your knees down. Drop your knees down. But for practice, let's stay up. Like you can bend your knees like, like this much. And you come up. For the real, you drop your knees down. And to finish your throw, you come up. So this is kind of common mistake for drop center. You drop your knees down and just you just drop everything. But even if you drop your knees down, and my toes are still alive, so I could, you know, get up and come up to finish my throw. Here, and you come up and pull, right, to just finish the throw. So today, let's work on kudush part, okay? Kudush is the most important uh, thing in uh, Morote Senage. Kudush means getting your opponents off balance, okay? So you have to break his balance. You have to get him off balance. Or your morote senage is not going to work at all. Okay? So let me show you so the, the difference. Look at my left hand. Okay? I'm going to pull. I'm going to make a good kuzush. Look at my uh, left hand. Ready? My left hand was here. I pull. I pull him to get him off balance like this. And easy to finish my throw. Versus my left hand, if, if you don't pull, nothing. You see that, right? So nothing happens. You want to work on your pulling hand today. So here, so my pinky comes up, you know, as I pull like this. This is the way of pulling. So here to here, like this. Here. Okay, this is the only way. Okay, there's no no other ways. Not like this, like or like this doesn't work. Okay, so you're gonna pull so like that way, so diagonally forward. Okay, that direction. You know, not pulling straight forward, not pulling down, but pulling upward, pulling like this upward. You see the line here? Okay. Here to here, not here or not here. You know what I mean? If I pull straight up, if I uh, pull straight up, okay, nothing happened to him. Okay, again, if I pull straight up, nothing happened. But if I pull diagonally forward, now I was able to br uh, break his balance. Pull up and bring elbow out. And make sure your elbow goes out like this, here to here like this. Time. My right hand, just keep holding the lapel. Keep holding the lapel and then bring the elbow like forward like this. Again, from here, bring the elbow, move the elbow like forward like this. One time, here to here like this. So, your elbow is supposed to be right here. Your, your elbow is not, you know, supposed to be behind the shoulder, you know what I mean? So if you go like this, so ah, you might get counted, you know, backwards this way. Your elbow comes inside his elbow. Pull, and then bring the elbow forward, like this. Right here. Elbow comes again. Right here, inside you, inside his elbow. You know, your elbow comes here. Pull to break his balance. Pull to break his balance, like, like this, right? And then you get down, you get down here, I'm here, then you come up. As you come up, pull to make this happen. And like a leverage, you know, Le leverage theory. But that's the kind of mechanic of a uh, uh, Morote Senegal. This is the practice we're gonna do now. So bend your knees, like like one like this. Okay? Like this. Okay? Like this. So as you 
simple, you know, pulling is not only about your arm. Okay, not, uh, it's not about your, you know, your arm, but more like you know, whole body. Here you can bend your knees and come up, come up and pull like this. For more tension I get, the best grip is a little below the elbow, not on the elbow, but a little down here. Okay. Here, and then you can, you can grab the bottom, grip the bottom, or on the side. One, two, three, four, five. You can just use these three fingers, right? These three fingers. Okay, and then let's relax these two, uh, two fingers. So you're gonna here, okay? Pull it. Then here, pull, 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 pull. Of course, you have to pull, you know, right? You have to pull fast to, to get your more If you pull, if you pull slowly, you have to be able to uh, break your spine. If you pull slowly. Here. The reason is that you just explode. It's all about explosiveness, right? So not, not like this, right? You have to explode. Here, explode, explode, explode. And the same, eventually you're gonna move, then use the same, same pull, right? Use the same, same pull. And throw all the way. So you can apply this pull to any you know, four throws. For example, like, like, like Hanaigoshi, and Uchimata, and Hayotoshi. You know, any four throws, you have to break the, break your plans of balance. Yeah, you can apply this pole to any <coughs> four throws. Okay? Alright, guys, okay, so now look, 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 okay? So now let's work on the whole body. Whole body. Here, ready? Yeah, so two times here. Now, and then, so you, you still have to pull, hold on, right? You pull, pull, and stay, you, you want to stay balanced here. Okay, and so pulling is the most important, important part, right? So pull and bring the elbow forward and you throw right here. So now both hands, you're gonna turn all the way. You need to relax and explode. Relax, explode. Relax, you don't wanna get, you don't wanna get pulled. No, right? So just you can lean the way you're throwing. Just you can lean, lean the way you throw. You can lean this way. But not, sorry, not like, no, 